before we begin, note that we have five different languages for you to select. Go to the settings menu at the bottom right of the screen, select subtitles and choose the language you want. Now we are ready to begin the video. The first step is to assemble the tracks. Using the track joiners, put the pieces together. If you don't like how the joiners look, there is a separate video to show you how we can customize them. When choosing the track length, you want to consider the total length the curtains will take up when fully bundled up. If you do not want your curtains to obstruct your window view, make sure that the track is longer than your window opening. To estimate the bundled up length, you can use this calculation. Generally, it's the total number of runners multiplied by 1.5 centimeters, add on an extra 20 centimeters per side. Once you're happy with the track length, it is time to cut the belt. Using the measuring tool, secure the belt to the edge of the track. Next, attach the measuring stick to the other ends of the track and cut right at the end of the measuring stick. Repeat the cutting process. Make sure that you have two belts that are exactly the same length. Next, you will need to secure a belt clip to the belt. Make sure that the belt clip is right at the edge of the belt. Do not forget to secure the belt clip with the locking teeth. Next, attach a carrier piece to the belt clip. Note that the wheels should be facing the belt. The flat side should be facing the track. Run the carrier through the track and exit on the other side. Now repeat the process, but this time make sure you're doing it in the opposite direction. But this time make sure the carrier doesn't go all the way through, the carrier should remain inside the track. Thread the belt through the gearbox on one side. Secure with a belt clip. Attach it to the carrier. Again, note that the wheels should be pointing towards the belt the flat edge should be facing the track. On the other side, thread the belts through the remaining gearbox. Attach a belt clip, then attach a carrier. The carrier pieces should then meet in the middle. It is now time to secure the carrier. Note that the screws should go through the metal arms first, then through the carrier, then through the metal locking plate. Repeat the process to both carriers. Don't worry if your track feels a little bit stiff at the moment, you can adjust the smoothness and the belt tension later. You can now put in as many carriers that you want to use. Finally, you will want to secure the gearbox and the track together using the belt tensioner. You might need to loosen the screws on the tensioner first, but don't dismantle it. The locking plate shouldn't fall off. Slide the belt tensioner to the allocated position. Tighten the screw to secure and lock in the position. Repeat on the other side. Make sure you adjust the belt tension before use. There is a separate video to show you how that can be done. Your track is now complete.